Welcome to this demo of Provar's test automation for Salesforce. If you're used to manual testing, you'll find Provar a lot faster and more efficient. Provar helps you build tests that you can run on demand. When you need to test a new deployment or a new Salesforce release, you can just click a button and Provar will run your tests while you get on with other work. In this demo, I'll show you how easy it is to create an automated test case in Provar. In this test, I'll be going through my opportunity creation process. My first step is to go to the Opportunity tab and right-click on the New button. I'll select Add to Test Case. What's happening behind the scenes here is Provar is examining my Salesforce setup and presenting the action it thinks I want to take. In this draft test step, you can see Provar has detected that I'm on the standard Opportunity page, I'm interested in the New button, and it's predicted that I want to click on the button. I'll click Add and Do to save this step and run it in the browser. Because Provar is an expert Salesforce tool, it's building my test so that I can run it across any Salesforce org. I could run this test in another sandbox or in Salesforce Classic instead of Lightning, and it would still work successfully. At Provar, we also promise that whatever changes Salesforce makes in its tri-yearly releases will ensure your existing tests continue to run. Now we're on the new opportunity page, I'll map some of these fields. I'll map the name field by right-clicking and selecting Add to Test Case. This time, Provar recognises that we're now on the new opportunity page, and it suggested the name field. Provar's also predicted that I want to set a value, and it's presented a free text box. I'll type my value in and click Add and Do to see it reflected in the browser. Provar has the same method for mapping any kind of field type, including lookups, checkboxes and datetime fields. Provar handles the complexity for me behind the scenes so that I can add the steps I want. Another good way of setting field values is to use a dynamic value instead of a static one. Provar has a lot of inbuilt functions to simplify this, so I'll show how this works on the closed date field. To set a dynamic value, I'll map the test step as usual. Then I'll open Provar's functions list and select date add. This is going to set the closed date to three days after today's date. Provar will calculate the value whenever the test is run so that my test data always stays fresh. Another way of managing dynamic values is in a variable. I can do this easily by opening the test palettes and clicking set values. This lets me create a variable that I can refer back to later in the test. I could also populate data-driven variables using an Excel file, database or external system. The test palette gives me other useful options such as an if statement. If statements can be used for conditional actions based on data or the environment, for example if I want to perform an action only if the test is run in Lightning. This helps me to manage functional differences as part of the same test, instead of having to create many different ones. For now, I'll close the test palette and map the final required field on this page, which is the stage pick list. As this pick list field has defined values, I'll select the value that I want and then map the test step. Provar picks up the field value automatically so that I don't have to type it in. Finally, I'll map the save button. This time, I'll use Provar's screenshot feature to capture the view on the screen after the button is clicked. Screenshots will be added to my test run report to give evidence that the test was run successfully. Provar automatically captures screenshots if a test step fails. Now that the opportunity has been created, as a final step I'll assert some information on the new record. I'll add a step to verify that the probability value is what we expect for this stage. Note that I've had to click the Detail tab to find the probability field, but I don't need to map this as a step in Provar. Provar is smart enough to find the field automatically through its knowledge of the Salesforce setup. Mapping the probability field presents the draft test step for me to review. This time, I'll use interaction type of read assert instead of set or click. Once again, Provar has predicted this interaction for me, so I'll just tick the box to assert the field value. I could also assert the label or a validation error message or other attributes such as whether the field is read only. For now, I'll just check the value is 10% and click Add and Do. Finally, I'll rename the step to add the assertion details. Provar creates test steps that are easy to read and understand, but I can rename a step if I want to follow a certain naming convention or add more information. And that completes my first Provar test case, created in about four minutes. I can now run this test whenever I like, across different sandboxes, or schedule it to run as part of a CI CD pipeline. I hope you enjoyed this demo of Provar. If you'd like to know more, visit provartesting.com.